to be 100% transparent here, the dev stream was yesterday, it is currently Saturday, and two hours ago they announced the Ember Heirloom collection will be coming on July 20th. They announced that 23 hours ago. I had a whole different idea for this, but yes, Ember's Heirloom collection will be coming July 20th at 11am ET. No, really. At 11 a.m. ET, you will be able to get off a hold of her heirloom, and it looks, it looks amazing. Um, we're just gonna say she's very Hellboyish. Will be coming in two different packs. There is the Sia collection that will have the skin, the Signa. I'm assuming that's what the fiery thing is above her helmet. The glyph, the sigil, the color palette, and a Prex card they referred to as a shiny prex card so it's a special one 425 platinum and the single collection which will be everything apart from the platinum you would almost think they'll learned because after they released this last year there was a bit of a backlash because there was three different collections the zenith being the best one that came with 600 platinum remember 600 platinum the cheap version that didn't even come with the heirloom skins that came with no platinum and then a one in the middle that came with 400 platinum the expensive one was 75 dollars i do believe but it goes without saying these skins do look amazing they are next level deluxe skins they are supposed to be the next step up from deluxe skins but at that price, they were basically turning around and saying, for $75 for the Zenith pack, you would get 600 platinum. And then they turned around and they did change this. So it went from 600 to 2,100, which fixed a lot of people's complaints about this because it was extremely expensive for what you actually got. But they did address this and they have learned going forward so what have they learned on july 20th at 11 a.m et ember's heirloom collection will be coming again just like last year's they look absolutely amazing more importantly those two collections i was referring to earlier um new paths to purchase yeah, a few people have probably already picked up on that. The Sia collection, that's S-E-A-R, so not S-E-E-R. Uh, real world currency. Okay, as expected, because the Frost one was... The Frost one and the Mag one was quite expensive. I would have loved to have seen them split it so you could either buy Frost or Mag or both. That I could have 100% understood. The single collection, available for purchase, yeah, we'll just, um, in-game. So, the heirloom collections going forward will be in the in-game market of Warframe. Meaning that you will just be able to, uh, just get out of there, turn around, walk over here, and go in here. And will also be available individually because they did announce that one yesterday will the heirloom collection still be paid only no unlike last year's you'll be able to buy it through platinum are there differences between the two paths uh yes one it will include platinum one won't there you go uh i'm only interested in one or two specific heirloom items do i need to buy the full collection no the heirloom items will be available individually. Will they re be releasing them to Warframes at a time? No, hence the reason it is Ember's heirloom and just Ember's. And more importantly, will they still be time locked? No. But yes, <laughs> I really hate contradictory answers here, but yes, uh, it will still be time locked if you are buying it with real money because it literally says it right down here. 
the heirloom collection per the, the heirloom collection purchasable with real world currency will remain time limited. So when they turn around and say no, they are barefaced liars. Because it, if you are buying it with real money, then yes, it will still be time limited. Like the last one was that ended after it actually says halted after December 31st, 2023. They will be permanently extending the availability of these going forward. Platinum purchase path for the heirloom collections and individual heirloom items will live on forever through the in-game market. Permanently in-game. With Platinum. Will Frost and Mag's heirloom collections ever be returning they may have said no once upon a time but here's the contradictory bit that digital extreme have said whether they meant it or not platinum purchase paths for oh wait does this really say both heirloom collections and individual heirloom heirloom items oh we'll live on forever through the in both heirloom collections this says ember this is one heirloom collection are you, without actually mentioning it, also releasing, re-releasing last year's heirloom collection? So people who paid $75 for it are about to get a big slap in the face because they're going to be able to purchase all of these items in-game using Platinum instead? That's going to be an interesting one. They have technically turned around and said both of them will be available, but there's only one. So there may be a secret second one they're not announcing just yet. But if they are returning Mag and Frost, this may blow up in their face more than they would like. But come on, either way, that is going to be available in the in-game market permanently come that time, which is great. I'm glad to see they've gone that path rather than the way they did last year. But just like the founder program, should the Mag and Frost heirloom skins return or not? Let us know in the comment section below. But with that, we'll leave this off here. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time.